Okay, we're out here after the polar vortex, polar freeze, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we got to do a little rundown of some of the plants that we can see in the yard and uh, show you what they look like. Of course, there's one of our uncovered sapo miners. Received zero protection. It looks really good. Um, show you a couple of the smaller sable miners. Here's one that received no protection. You can see it's a little fried here. We'll have to see see how it does. It's it's in fairly rough shape. Uh, here's some more that were covered by mulch. There's actually some of this pile of mulch here. You see the mulch did a good job. That's the first time I've uncovered them there. You can see they're perfectly green under the mulch, so they that was a good way of giving them a little protection. You can see the part that was outside of the mulch here is pretty fried. And the mulch is still frozen there. in the mulch and pretty good results still frozen almost pretty good and green though down in the mulch there you can see one same one outside the mulch took a pretty good beating stable miners we dumped a pile of mulch on them and you can see here, they're really green. I don't know if I can get this mulch off of them or not here, because it's still a little frozen. I'll come back here and pull that off of them. But you can see the spears. Everything in pretty good shape. The fronds have a little spotting, but for temperature we had negative one, pretty good shape. Another sable miner, completely unprotected. That one's in pretty good shape. One of our worst palms here is a sable Birmingham that had a cover. And you can see it's really in bad shape. We put a little mulch around the bottom. Let's see if this one comes back. It's taken quite a bit of damage. Um, you can see the fronds here are really Pretty burnt. Go back here and we'll look at. Uh, we protected three needle palms, which I can't get the covers off of yet. They're still frozen to the ground. And here's one that was unprotected. It has a little bit of cover from the bamboo, but you can see it's pretty much completely flawless after negative one. And we had 88 hours of below freezing, and it's still just now, I think, uh, getting to about the freezing point as I'm out here now. So this is the first time uh, above freezing uh, since uh, uh, Thursday night. Some of our bamboo, the the bottom looks fairly good on the Spectabilis. Uh, the top where it's up in the wind looks like, I don't know if you can see that there, uh, some of it looks like it may have killed the top out of the bamboo. And we'll go over here and look. small needle palm that one we protected actually just by putting a frost cloth over it but it looks flawless here's our unprotected sable miner that's over here in the sun that gets real big and for the I mean I don't even see spotting hardly on it maybe a few spots Here's 
another Sable Birmingham that we put a cover on. And this particular one took some damage as well. Um, you can see it's not quite, it's over here by the house, it's not quite as damaged as the other one. But uh, the spear and everything here is uh, fairly beat up as well. Uh, looks like this one will live, but uh, uh, we'll just have to see how it does. You know, I hate that it gets this many fronds beat up on it. Another Sable Miner. That one we covered just to make sure we didn't lose this one. It's in a prime spot, but you can see it's flawless. Of course, the Mule Palm. We'll have to look at it in the spring. I don't want to uncover it yet, but we'll see how it did. Some of these smaller palms are covered with some styrofoam coolers, and they, they look really good. That's a Sable Atonia. over here here's one we thought was a Birmingham but after looking at the other Birmingham's it's it's probably more of just a big sable miner it's uh we just had a uh, cloth covering over it and it uh, it received very little damage here as well I see the spear there it looks like it has a little spotting and damage in there but i think it'll be fine we covered it with all the ones we could with the pile of mulch here's the big sable louisiana i ended up covering it and putting a, a spotlight down here on it if you want to see how i did the spotlight you can just see a, i moved it a little bit here but i had a spotlight just aimed up into the enclosure 90 watt spotlight on a 20 30 thermo cube this time instead of a 35-45. You can actually see where the spotlight was aiming here on the palm. It did a little bit of discoloration there, but overall the palm is completely perfectly green with the with the heat. I should have heated those other two Birmingham's. I just didn't realize that it was gonna take this much damage. Looks like the spear here is a little there's a little bitty bit of problems there, but but this one won't have any problem. We'll go here and look at a couple of other palms. The brazoria here, about a five and a half, six foot brazoria. It just had a. Uh, frost cloth covering and uh, it's the most surprising here it has very little damage even with the cover so that must mean this palm can take some pretty cold temperatures and not have uh, any major damage and this one's a brazoria Another Sable Miner, this one's in the shade. It took a little more damage. You can see some spotting there. This one uh, was uncovered. Should be okay, we'll move the mulch off of it as soon as it unfreezes. And here's our Sable Louisiana. It had a frost cloth covering. And you can see that it took uh, moderate damage here. It, uh, the fronds are, are fairly beat up. Uh, center spear still looks okay. So I think it'll make a recovery, but this is the coldest we've been in 25 or 26 years. So it's pretty, pretty beat up. But anyway, the, everything else is wrapped. Uh, you'll see that we still have, we'll leave these on until spring now at this point the, all the larger palms have the frost cloth covering and we put an extra wrap on the ones during the, uh, the cold nights just to make sure that uh, it didn't completely die on us uh, we've got a palmetto over here that's that's 
wrapped and got lights on it. And I'm glad I did that because after this cold and seeing the other ones. But um, anyway, that's uh, a little update on the plants we have. And uh, uh, just one last thing here. You can see these Christmas ferns. Those things are tough. Those are unprotected and uh, went through the negative one and all this cold spell and they're completely green. But uh, that's the report. And uh, so it looks like we're only gonna have some losses of some small uh, palms and that Birmingham that we showed you, that worst one is uh, questionable. But everything else looks pretty good. So, uh, uh, or at least that it'll come back and live. So, uh, so that's the report and we'll talk to everybody later.